In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to solve a cloudy pool. Now, the first things we need to uh, work out is what is the pH of the pool? Now, in my case, the pH is correct. The problem with the cloudiness is that there is fine dust or sediments that are too small for the filter to actually filter out. So what actually happens is the pool remains cloudy. And as you can see, it's got the correct color. It's a blue color, but it's cloudy. And you may not see at the bottom, somewhere over there, there is actually a penguin that is painted onto the pool floor. But because it is so cloudy, you can't actually see it. Looking at the pool cleaner, you can see that it is barely visible through the cloudy water. And I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem. So now I'm going to prove that by using a flocculant, we can actually remove the sediment. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. Right, this is the flocculant, also called a clarifier. And what it does is it actually binds the small particles that are moving through the filter and not being filtered out actually binds them together and makes them heavy and actually they will fall to the bottom of the pool after a few hours so there are certain procedures that need to be followed the first thing is you need to shake the bottle now after doing that you've got to mix the clarifier with five liters of water now i'm not going to do that and uh, it's important that when you do pour this you don't get it on your clothes you don't get it on your hands so you're going to observe me walk around the pool and actually pour it in now this bottle is for 50,000 liter pool. Now my pool is 75,000 liters and it is very cloudy. So I'm going to use two bottles. Now the procedure is as follows. You put the clarifier around the pool, pouring it in. We then put the pump on the um, circulate or bypass position. That is just to mix the clarifier into the pool water. Once the two-hour circulate uh, procedure has been followed, then we switch off the pump and you leave it for 24 hours. And what will happen is all the dust and the particles will settle at the bottom of the pool floor. At that point, you'll need to decide, are you going to let the pool sweeper sweep it up or are you going to vacuum it up? And I'll demonstrate that, which will be tomorrow, once we see all the dirt on the pool floor. So right now, I'm now going to open, shake up these bottles and pour them around the pool. Just be Now make sure the pump is going on the circulate option and leave it for two hours. Then switch off, leave for 24 hours. Do not add any further pool chemicals and definitely do not add any soda ash. It will neutralize the clarifier. What it will do, it will make it useless. Right, it's a good idea to remove the pool cleaner from the weir so that when it's doing the circulation it's got a vigorous pumping action to actually circulate all the water through the uh, the the pool all the flocculent through the pool water so right now after two hours you can see how the surface of the pool looks the motor goes off and you leave it like this for the next 24 hours Look how the flocculant has actually destabilized the particles in the water. And it's actually a chemical reaction. And I don't recommend doing anything further in the pool. Don't swim. Just leave it. Uh, if it rains, it's okay. Uh, right. Now, it is not even 24 hours. It's barely 21 hours. But you can see the pool is already clean enough to now take action. The water is literally clean crystal clear all the uh, dust particles are clumped together and are now on the pool floor well i don't want to say all the particles but the ones that are what that were making the pool cloudy and now we have an option either we can just switch on the pool sweeper or we can vacuum them up now my experience is that it's better to vacuum them up because the 
pool filter is going to have to deal with this excessive amount of dirt and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take the uh, a fitting as you can see there on the floor and I'm going to just go to the parts of the uh, pool floor where are where the most uh, of the dirt has uh, collected and actually just vacuum it up which means that you need to have the pool pump now on so it will use a bit of water and uh, but it will uh, uh, be better for the filter in that I don't want this uh, this fine particles to get back in the pool and I have a feeling that some of them will and I don't want to be doing this process again in three weeks time so I'm going to literally vacuum say let's say about two-thirds of the pool floor and the rest I'll leave for the uh, pool sweeper to do and the filter will capture that and after you've done that you must then do the backwash so now I'm going to show you the vacuuming process you can use an industrial vacuum but it's not necessary I've done this several times and all you need is that little guy over there connected to your normal fitting connected into the weir and you set your pump on the backwash position. I'm now going to do that and demonstrate how to do the vacuuming process.
Right, I've now done just probably over two thirds of the pool floor. And now I'm gonna just let the pool sweeper do the rest. In about two hours time or three hours time, I'll do a backwash. And I think that would be it. I'll take some photos. But as you can see, without even being finished the job, about having finished the job, the pool is already looking much better. 